All right, so in this section, I'll be showing you how to animate your mouth using this mount that we have created, using this concept, using these three or four phonemes that we have created using the bones in Mobile Studio. So kick back, pay full attention, and learn. Let's go. So I have been able to drag in the audio into Mobile Studio, and let's listen to it. In my lifetime, I never really thought that I would fall in love. And when I finally did, it felt strange. The first thing you will do here is go to your timeline and start creating your animation. So let me show you how I do it. This is the first one that I have just created. So you see, then I'll show you how I did it in the second section of um, the audio and you would learn from there. Let's go. So you could see the mouth working perfectly well. Then at this point, if we continue animation, we can go ahead and Ctrl F to add freeze frame or just click on these two um, bones here to make sure that we have them at the beginning. Then we drag through and listen. So we have I. So you know when you say I, you try to follow the emotions to make it much more beautiful. So it's closing. So at this point, we have a knee. Ne, ne. So at this point, what I'll do is click on both T and, and the closed mouth. At this point, then I close the mouth. So if I really want to close the mouth properly, I can come to this first um, layer that I have here, Ctrl C, and then I Ctrl V it here so that I'll have the I'll bring the bones back to their original position, which is the closed mouth. Then, then at this point, I'll open a T, which is N, N, E. Then here, the mouth opens a bit. Since we don't have a V, all we just have to do is to close the mouth at this point or still copy this point here. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and paste it there. You could see how the mouth shifts back so that it's closed perfectly. The reason why we are doing that is so that we have this point aligned properly because when you're moving them yourself, it may not be that perfect, but you can still do that if you want. Now we have this, now we have an air sound. So at this point, I'll click on this um, open and close mouth so that I tell the computer that I'm about to use that bone here. Then I also click this, then I click this, so it just have that there, then at this point, I open ah, uh, so we have, you know, never, that. then, uh, then I keep bringing this one back up, then now we have roo, roo, which is like an O sound, and since we don't have much space here, at this at this point, all we have to do is just drag this up, you know, never. Then now we have an L sound. So at this point now, we'll now highlight this and highlight this. Then instead of, um, you know, instead of just dragging it to, to, to bring out the L, the L shape of the mouth, what we have to do is at this point, I'll control C and bring everything to a close. Then this point, I now put an L sound. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that when you're looking at the mouth movement, it is easier for you to understand and it looks much more uh, natural. So, Lee, then it start closing. Then at this point, it's totally closed, which will control V again to make sure that everything comes back to normal. So if we play this, Now we have a T sound. At this point, since we have both highlighted, you can also just go ahead and click both if you want. So now we have a T. Taught. Then, so we we'll close it back, or you can just hit Ctrl V to bring everything back to its normal position. Then we put an O there. Then it ends with a T again. So before it ends with a T, we bring it back to a close. Ctrl V. To bring everything back to a full close, then, then we hit this, then bring everything back to a full close, like this with 
this with this initial frame that we've copied. So whenever we start a new one, we'll do the same thing and there it goes, so on and so forth. So if we start playing this from here, this is what we'll have. Never really taught that. I mean, so you could see the mouth is working. So you can see the mouth is working perfectly well. If this mouth now is on the head of a character, you could you would see you would enjoy it more than um this that you are watching, but this is it. Now we have this and that. So at this point we click on this bone and click on this bone at the same time, then we open an R. Then we'll close it back and we we'll also hit the control V to bring the mouth all the same. Remember, we had copied this frame as the closed mouth, as our mm, mouth shape. And that is why I'm always putting it there so that we have the mouth always coming back to its original shape. And the reason why that frame is also very important is so that these keys, these um, the, the bones, the, their selves are not being bent left or right, which would affect the mouth and make it look a little bit warped while we are creating the animation. Take for example, if the mouth shape is like this and I'm trying to open the mouth, you could see, you know, this point not really going well and stuff like that. So you want the mouth to be fully closed so that the mouth the mouth works uh, properly. All right, so now if we play this, now this that you have here is the mouth shape and this is how you animate it and you could also go back and you know reanimate and perfect it with the way you want there are different ways of using keyframes etc and also what some people do if they are, if they have a very long animation to do what they try to do is you know just imitate an open mouth then they go some frames forward then they do a closed mouth then they go some fr frames forward, they do an open mouth, then they just copy these frames and copy and they now just start pasting in between. This is a much more faster way of um, creating a lip sync. So you just have the mouth doing this, you know, like, you know, chop, 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 chop. The only thing with this one is that it might not follow the mouth exactly, but what you could do is that at certain point where it says certain things, maybe like an O or an L or so, you could just go in there and rearrange it, you know, make sure the mouth is properly closed, then you put a T or you put an L in it and just make sure the mouth is working perfectly well at that point. I hope this is really helpful and if you have any questions, make sure you drop it in the comments below or try to reach out to me. I will always find a way to help you and make sure that your work moves forward and if you want me to talk about something else, let me know. In the comments below, reach out to me via email or whichever way. I will sure get back to you and try to help you as much as possible. Thank you for watching and I hope this um, mouth file that I am giving to you is really helpful to you. Will really help you create better animations as you go forward. And you can go ahead and tweak it and do whatever you want. Just get it, just download it and use it in whichever way you want you can go ahead and adjust it you have the right to do that and that is why i have created it and see you in the next video make sure you keep learning and check out the next video and the next video and the next video and let me know what you think bye ciao and have a wonderful day ahead from wherever you are in the world see ya